warm hands But there's something cold in the way you are The things you said had me going good but it left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone I fall for every word that you say to me So hard being drawn to you so easily So here I am a little bit behind the scenes for my new video my guided meditation and this meditation will be very very special and um, it will have a deep meaning for everybody especially when we meet new people or we meet somebody and we start to judge if that person does something which we do not like and uh, this meditation will actually uh, show you how to see the other side so yeah, and I chose this location as one of my favorite location. It's so vast and so gorgeous and you can find so many beautiful spots and uh, I really enjoy creating anything new and different for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm not like the best uh, videographer, obviously. I learn everything by myself. But I think, you know, if you just create something and express your cre creativity or the gifts, ah, the sun is too bright, um, that you can offer to the world, I think, like, why not, you know? We are here to experience, to share, and if this will benefit you in any way, my work is done then. Let's go back to work because it's actually really, really hot, but it's super beautiful here. Yeah. I wish I had drawn. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. Or maybe. Yay. So, this is like where we all go for some awesome content and you go out of your comfort zone. And um, yeah, and it's it's really cool because these are the granite rocks. They are actually not slippery, so they are cool to walk on. But you still have to be super super careful because you never know. They are very wiggly waggly. <laughs> A lot of holes everywhere. The water made its way, and so great to see all these amazing shapes ah oh, it's just so beautiful look at that Seychelles are granite um, rocks <laughs> yeah well um, and coral of course but yeah so wrap so you know like you just have to film like different um, angles uh, different positions um, you know just to make it a little bit more interesting when you're doing the videos um, yeah people usually when we are doing meditation we anyway have eyes closed but sometimes you just need to hear all this positive uh, messages inside a guided meditation and if you don't want to meditate then you can just basically you know listen and watch the scenery because Seychelles is too beautiful not to show it and not to take advantage on my videos and today is a wonderful beautiful day um, it's very surprisingly how this December and now we're getting really gorgeous weather usually we have a lot of rain um, especially because we are in the rainy season but I think for the past year or so or two years it's been a lot of changes um, 
yeah and it's not that uh, rainy anymore I don't know I, I, I don't feel it and oh, so I forgot to uh, show you my rings as well if we are a little bit off topic so I have uh, amethyst this, this one is quite old but this one I got recently um, here in Seychelles beautiful and I have a special ring this one here um, it's from my grandma and grandfather actually I uh, exchange their wedding rings for this ring so I can wear it and I can have them all the time with me um, and this one is for myself of course I bought it for myself and this one is very special and then I have my amethyst ring it's also very beautiful so so those are my accessories for this video also this one um, so it's the, the sun is really bright so I'm just gonna have my glasses on my huge glasses on <laughs> so uh, and also this uh, um, this is actually my wedding dress guys yeah I have a long long story with my wedding and dress and all that but it's actually very bohemian it's totally my style if you would know me from before, I was like very bohemian, like a hippie style girl, but nice hippie style, like stylish hippie, not like, um, you know, trashy hippie or whatever. I like the freestylish stuff, like, um, um, you know, like freedom and expression and everything like that. It really, really reflects me who I am. And I don't like the fancy stuff and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's nice, but I don't need them really. They don't mean much to me. Um, I like like very free bohemian style. I prefer simple things and less things. So, yeah. So this is the wedding dress, actually. <laughs> like the story of my wedding dress, basically. I ordered it like... Um, four sizes too big because when I was getting married I was also expecting my little one so I thought like okay by the time that I will get married I'll probably be bigger so I ordered like I don't know three sizes bigger dress and it was obviously really really too big because I even I didn't even gain that much weight uh, so I tried to fix it right I put it um, to the tailor to fix my dress but she didn't really do a a good job and I, I was like four days be before the wedding the dress wasn't ready and the the tailor guy also like then the guy was fixing it and he said like um, oh you know you just put the straps back and you know tighten it up and you should be fine I said no it, it's my wedding day the dress should be perfect like I'm not gonna wear it like like that it's, it's I'm gonna be like a clown I don't want that and the original dress was actually really beautiful um, and it has a little uh, a sparkling thing on it as well and I said like you just cut this sparkling thing off I don't really mind and I'll just find another belt or something uh, another accessories where I can make it nice he said no 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 we cannot do that the dress will fall apart but it's not true you know like it, it wouldn't fall apart it's like you're a tailor you can do anything and eventually I said you know what thank you and goodbye so and then I just uh, went for a coffee into one um, resort and usually those resorts they always have a boutiques with, uh, with clothes and uh, I just randomly you know passed by a boutique and I saw this dress and I said wow this is just totally me it's perfect for the beach uh, we, we got married on the beach and um, yeah it was just it was actually just perfect it's, it's long and it's bohemian style, it's very simple and I was pregnant, I was barefoot on the beach and it's like, it was just great. It turned out really good and my, bom my mom actually bought this for me so it's, I have a, like a very special moment uh, in this dress basically. So yeah, that's the story about it. So the lesson, if you girls want to get married and um, you know, don't rush with a dress, take time. <laughs> I don't order it online like I did. <laughs> well, that's how it is. I was never a planner, a wedding planner. So, 
yeah, um, that uh, was like <laughs> a little bit in a hurry, which I am sorry you now. I should have done everything by myself, also planned the wedding and do the setup and stuff like that. So, yeah, but I was pregnant at the time and I really, really didn't have energy to do that. So, yeah, that was. But anyway, it, it was still really good. At least the party was amazing. So. So yeah, that's the story about my accessory, the story about my wedding dress and a little bit of the Seychelles. So you can actually see where I live and where I film my videos and where I moved. So I also want to film more about me. I don't know if you even want to listen to my story and to my talking and stuff like that, but I have a lot of, lot of stories. I was meditating this morning and actually the whole life spam came in front of my eyes like and I just want to share because I have so much to tell you and uh, this year I'll be 40 so basically uh, a lot of things happened to me and every basically every um, I don't know how to say every decade not really a decade but life has its own its own decades right or its own episodes um and each episode is so special for me and in each episode i discovered something new and i've learned a lot of things new so i want to share that with you even in partnerships and stuff like that yeah morning and welcome from Seychelles so I woke up in this beautiful weather it's actually nice to wake up sometimes in this gloomy rainy weather and yeah yeah so my god my hair is so oily I need to really wash my hair and um, yeah I'll do it after tra the training I have because usually when I train, I'm so sweaty and my hair is also really, really sweaty. So now I'll just make it like it is in ponytail, which is actually what I like. And, um, and yeah, and then I'll wash my hair. And then uh, what I need to do today, I need to test my new workout for my webpage. Um, it will be a part of one of the workouts for the program that I do, that I will do uh, sweat to shred six weeks challenge and um, all the details for the challenge will be down in the description box and um, yeah then I think I need to uh, clean up my closet I think it's time that I you know select certain exit uh, I think it's time that I <laughs> select certain clothes uh, clean up take uh, the old one out and just refresh my closet I think I'll do that and uh, yeah, I, it looks like it's gonna be a very rainy day. And this is my outfit for today. I think it looks really cute just to have this loose t-shirt and this uh, Gymshark leggings. I don't even know which ones are those. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll put you here but I think it looks really cute I don't know if you like it but I definitely dig this style now that I don't always just have like a, you know sports bra and stuff so it looks good you can also I, can, I also like it like that you have it like up tied up like this or you know usually I just fold it under the sports bra like this you can even have that Style. I think it looks good. It looks cute. Or sometimes I will just cut it, I will crop my t shirts. And yeah. this is how I am usually. I'm not always just in a sports bra and stuff. It's just, I like very, very casual, very simple, very, you know, like comfortable clothes. Um, and this is just a man's t shirt and it's small. I think I bought it in Primark. Yeah, this summer, uh, last summer. <laughs> yeah. All right.
I am out of breath already. So this is how I actually write my workouts uh, for my fitness web page. It's like a um, online. It's like a subscription-based uh, web page where you can train basically with me, like every single day with a schedule. Fitnessbymaya.com and. Uh, yeah, so every day I have a different kind of workouts. The, the same that you basically see on YouTube, but um, of course I have a lot of different series and it's like over 200 workouts now altogether. So basically I'm creating the whole lifestyle platform. I added also guided meditations recently and also a little bit more on the spiritual side, insights, because this is really important to create a healthy lifestyle in general not just the workouts so but with the workouts it's like a half low impact high impact hit um strength training tabata style mobility flexibility yoga it's like everywhere is there i mean everything is there so how i do it like uh i usually you know try to incorporate different styles of workouts in one workout i also do uh let's say um strength and heat and mobility maybe in one specific uh, workout that I do and then I just test it out I write it on the paper and then uh, I do the test workout and if something doesn't fit or doesn't feel right or doesn't flow then I will correct it so that's why I always test it before I actually film it this is how the routines are created and uh, oh my god I'm already sweating like it's this light here it doesn't really help so I can just show you what a monstrous light I have. Yeah, this is the construction light and it's uh, yellow and super bright. And I have another one here and another one here. And then of course in the post-production, I- Yeah, so these are the lights that shining on me. And when it's raining, my windows are closed and I don't use the AC. I mean, we do have AC, but I just don't use it. Only when it's really, really hot, but no, it's fine. It's just that, you know, when you live in the tropical climate, the humidity is very high all the time. And when you have the heat, the humidity, your body needs to sweat and it's totally fine by me. Um, it's very nice feeling for the skin as well. So it's always moist and uh, soft and nice. So. Uh, yeah, but it's, that's why the sweat is there all the time. Like, it's fine. I like it like that. So what is next uh, for the schedule for today? I think I need to, yeah, I think I'll do the closet now. I'll see. I still need to um, buy a plastic containers to put certain things in these boxes to just to have a little bit more or, or organization in the closet because I noticed like, um, where I live, let's say, it's very humid, of course, and those closets are wooden and the problem is um, um, mold and, you know, if you don't wear certain clothes for some time, it's, they, they start to smell bad, like moldy belt, bad, like, I don't know, it's not mold, mold, but it's like this smell which is um, very common for the tropical climate and this bothers me a bit so maybe if I put it in the plastic containers it won't absorb so much smell I guess I try to keep my uh, wardrobes a little bit open so that they are airy but you know this or, or also old ones like in a way because I'm renting the place so I didn't buy it but when I buy it I'm gonna definitely you know um, consider like different options for the wood and how to prevent that or maybe I'll just make it like a um, um, concrete wardrobe with um, you know like how they make it construction site but you cannot move that thing there. but it's one of the best because it's the easiest to clean it's the perfect for the humid environment also like let's say uh, when I lived in Mexico all of their kitchens and all of their bathrooms they were already like um, made with uh, with the concrete, like the wardrobes, the shelves, everything was was uh, built in, which is a very good thing 
you never get mold in a way, it doesn't smell, it's easy to clean. Um, but the thing is you can never move around the furniture because it's already building. Yeah. So um, yeah, but that's in the next chapter. That's a little bit inside of the tropical life. It's not all the beaches and sunshines and tropical sand and all that. We also have a lot of bugs, a lot of uh, cockroaches coming, flying in and out. It's like, ugh, ugh, I don't like them. But actually, they are very clean animals, right? Who would fall? Yeah, they don't really like the touch on their wings or whatever. They're always cleaning. Although we think that cockroaches are actually very dirty because they go on everywhere. I mean, they eat every, everything, they go on everything they see. But if you have a light, they will just fly in and it's like, oh, it's not nice. We have like centipedes and a little millipedes just crawling everywhere. It's just, you know, ants everywhere as well. So if you leave the food on the, on the, on the counter, they will come. And then when the food is removed, they will just go somewhere. And you cannot really get rid of them if you would want to, because they are already like built in the house, in their foundation, the house. I don't know. It's like all this is built in, in the jungle. <laughs> you know? so if you're interested, let me know if you're interested, if you want to see my house tour, maybe I can do it for you because it's it's nice to see a little bit different point of view. It's not like how I would decorate it. Of course I like more I like more brighter furniture and not so much dark. But here in Seychelles a lot of people love dark brown or black furnitures. I prefer um, white or uh, like this uh, light brown or light gray tones for the house and the furniture because it just makes the space bigger and brighter and you can combine it with different colors easier in my opinion that's why I love white curtains and yeah I don't know I just love this kind of stuff yeah can I do the mask <laughs> I needed the mask, so if I wash my hair, now I have to take the mask down. Warm hands, but there's something cold in the way you are. The things you're saying have me going good, but I left a scar. You invite me and then you turn me down. Give my hopes up and then you're gone. I fall for every word that you say to me. So hard, being drawn to you so easily. Never call me 